Federico, thank you very much for your kind words and thank you also for the Austrian Economic for inviting me once again. Well, uh, this topic is not only a national topic in Spain, but it's also something which will affect the, even uh, to the uh, European uh, uh, Union. Uh, well, <coughs> here you can see a very, uh, I will show you the, the political framework actually which is involved in this affair. One is the, the, the Catalonia, where it's situated right now, and uh, in, in, uh, in the peninsula, the Iberian Peninsula, and this is the region of Catalonia in, in Spain, and, and later, as uh, uh, Federico already uh, mentioned uh, in a few words, that uh, uh, some Catalonian uh, nationalistic people try to uh, expand Catalonia not only in, within Spain borders, but also to the south of France, in, including also the north of Sardinia, the Italian island. So it will it can become a, 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 a European affair. <laughs> but uh, well, it sounds to me uh, very ridiculous. This is uh, the same uh, picture, but with the administrative uh, distribution, the, the division. So once we uh, already focus the problem uh, in uh, geographically, well, um, we will remind that the territorial claims concern all these areas in the peninsula, uh, the Iberian Peninsula, but also in France and include, they try to include as well Andorra, which is an independent uh, country, even if it's uh, uh, co-share with the president of the French Republic and the uh, bishop of, uh, uh, of um, the north of Spain as well. And finally, Italy with the Algeria and Sardinia island, because in fact it was a former colony of uh, the Spanish uh, uh, empire in the Mediterranean Sea. So they still keep some dialect, so they speak uh, uh, Catalonian, not really the same language like in Catalonia, but it's like uh, uh, a dialect. So what, uh, what is the Catalonia, the environment which affects uh, Catalonia right now? Uh, and maybe all of you have uh, read already on the newspapers every day or on TV. Well, you can see here that the influence of the Mediterranean culture uh, uh, try to shape the uh, institutions and also people in that part of, uh, of the region. They are very hard working people. And uh, so they are very well known as uh, they have a culture of of uh, saving and um, uh, the, the uh, entrepreneurial attitude is not like a, a, a huge uh, entrepreneurial uh, idea, but uh, traders or is uh, more or less this kind of uh, uh, framework. So um, a small uh, business entrepreneurial, but also there is the tra a traditional uh, a tradition of anarchist. Uh, 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 at, that, at this point, I can um, remind you that Bakunin uh, sent his uh, fellow to Spain and Catalonia became the most anarchist region in the whole Europe. So, it's uh, very curious, this uh, 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 information. So, for this reason, there is a lack of uh, a huge of financial and banking system, uh, but at the same time they try to connect with other independentist movements uh, around Europe. What is the real? Because now they try to rewrite the history, but what is very fast? I don't want to go in time because you have to go very deep inside the history. You can read this in uh, any, any uh, book about uh, history, but just for you to remind some uh, uh, pictures. So, what is the situation of, of this region? How, how Catalonia come 
out from the Middle Age. So it was it, it belonged to to the Aragon Kingdom. Hmm? Later on, the king of Aragon married the uh, 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 the queen of Castilla. So Spain became the first national unified state in Europe. And uh, after that, well, both parts they cooperate in the conquer of the Arab kingdom of Granada in the south of Spain, that probably uh, most of you already have visited those beautiful uh, uh, buildings. Hmm? So this new kingdom uses the same policy towards Europe, hmm? mainly to the Mediterranean. Later on, with the discovery of America, well, uh, Castilla uh, focused their activities to the, to the American continent and uh, Aragon to the Mediterranean and the Central European uh, areas. So, uh, uh, Catalonia became uh, such a, a, a camp. It, 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 Catalonia was never independent. This is the main difference with Scotland. Hmm? Uh, sometimes we try to uh, compare the, the situation in Catalonia and the situation in Scotland, but it is not the same. So uh, the, the trivialità of Catalonia existed a long time ago. In fact, uh, 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 Queen Torra, the, the, the pres president of uh, uh, Catalonia, who was elected recently, is the 133rd president of the uh, uh, Generalitat. Mm -hmm. So, uh, even the, king, the, the father of the King of Spain was the Count of Barcelona. So, they never, uh, they never were, uh, uh, were independent, but a part of Spain and mainly a part of the Aragon uh, Kingdom. From later on, uh, during the, the European War of the Thirty Years, as you remember, in the 16th century, mm, there was a, a, a confrontation in the continent. Uh, Spain was against France, so uh, uh, Catalonia uh, took advantage of the situation to leave uh, Spain and to join uh, France. But after five years or uh, 12 years, they decided that the French were worse than the Spaniards. Mm -hmm. And so they went back to, to the Spain to the Spanish uh, kingdom. They returned in 1652, as you can read here. So, uh, this situation, in fact, is, uh, is something that uh, was the starting point of this disagreement between uh, uh, Catalonia and uh, the rest of the Spaniards. Just in, in the 17th century, there was a repairing war, the, the Paisan. Mm -hmm. They uh, uh, organized a revolt against uh, the, the government. So uh, they, they passed by different periods of the history and finally they went back to Spain at uh, now. So, uh, what afterwards was the situation in, in Catalonia and also in Spain? So, the uh, Spain, uh, if you read the history of Spain, is full of civil wars. And so, mm -hmm. the, uh, <laughs> uh, well, for, it, it was the first united uh, state in Europe, but at the same time, it was uh, uh, the first country with so many attempts to disunite uh, uh, the country. Mm? So that's why you can see here that when Charles II, the last husband, mm, the last husband uh, died without children. So, well, it provoked a confrontation between the Bourbons, uh, supported by French, and the Habsburgs, uh, the, the, uh, supported by Austrians and other countries as well. So you can see here, well, the Grand Alliance and the Bourbon Alliance, finally, uh, uh, Catalonia joined the losers. Mm -hmm. uh, and unfortunately, Philip V, the Bourbon, the winner, 
decided to uh, destroy all the advantages, the medieval uh, laws of Catalonia, not only of Catalonia, of ca uh, Catalonian people, but also from Valencia and Aragon as well, other parts, uh, because Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes, unfortunately, war has these kind of consequences that winners, uh, they will took advantage of some uh, uh, situation. But, at the same time, not everything was negative for Catalonia. Because, you can see here that uh, when, uh, uh, when uh, the war was end, mm, what, uh, and, and uh, the, the local law were, were abolished in the region I just mentioned to you. Uh, what has happened? At the same time, the king of Spain, Philip the Bourbon, the winner, decided to provide some advantages to Catalonia. Mm? And, and what kind of uh, advantages provide the new king of Spain, the Bourbon? Well, you can see here but some of them, because I, won't, mm, I don't want to be uh, so exhausted about this, uh, 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 this topic that uh, is uh, not very important. Well, first, well, they recovered they recover the, the unions, what they call in Spanish is the uh, gremios, eh? so it's the guild of commerce that was, were uh, 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 suppressed in the past. At the same time, they recovered the consula uh, del mar. The Consulat de Mar is like a chamber, it was like a chamber of commerce with also some competences uh, to decide about uh, con uh, merchant uh, conflicts. Mm? So they will got, they, they got it, the, uh, almost the monopoly of free trade with America the, and the Pacific, uh, the Philippines and the ocean. Uh, 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 islands that at that time was a part of the Spanish uh, 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 colonies. So protectionist of, uh, Cata of uh, Catalonian industries uh, in the 15th century we uh, find uh, the right place and the right environment to uh, the, to make what we, we say now the startup of the of business in Catalonia, and what are these main mm, main uh, 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 topics? Well, uh, the the in the in the 15th centuries in the 15th century, uh, Spain uh, still kept some part of uh, uh, its colonial empire because. Uh, uh, at, the, uh, at the beginning of the 19th century, our uh, brothers from Latin America already became independent, Argentina, Peru, Colombia, and Mexico, all these uh, new countries. But Spain still kept uh, Puerto Rico and Cuba and uh, uh, Philippine Islands and the Marianas and the Pacific Ocean, all this. So it was, it was a a, a market for for uh, 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 industrial production of uh, Catalonia. So uh, uh, you can see here that uh, in already in 1882 the first uh, the first uh, uh, tariff, the protectionist tariff of uh, uh, what uh, we call. Uh, Canovas. Canovas was the prime minister of Spain, so they protected the Catalonia, uh, Catalonia industry, and they um, uh, um, took advantage of this just to avoid Spain, the rest of the country, could import some product at lower prices from China, from uh, uh, France from uh, 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 Great Britain and abroad in general. So it was, it was uh, uh, obligatory to buy uh, a, a product manufactured in Catalonia. So the, it was the, really the situation. That's why the, 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 the present bureaucracy has its, uh, its uh, 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 birth right at that point 
in the uh, 18 and 19, mainly the 19th century. But uh, even during the Franco dictatorship, uh, Franco who, uh, tried to uh, recover you know, the uh, friendship, uh, let's say, of Catalonia, uh, providing some advantages, uh, allowing and promoting to settle in new industries. For instance, the first uh, car ma manufacturer industry, uh, SEAT, which in fact was Fiat, was established in Barcelona. Now all this uh, conglomerate belong to Volkswagen, the German Volkswagen. But the, the, the beginning was right there. So even at the, uh, at the time of the uh, Franco's dictatorship, they took advantage. So with democracy, well, they also received some uh, uh, help, some investment, just to prepare the country to join the European EU. Well, I found something that it was very interesting that summarized what I just told you. Well, it's, uh, it was written by Francis de Carreras. It's a, a very well-known professor specialized in constitutional law, and he was a politician. He's a Catalan uh, uh, person. Uh, and please give a look. It's really very interesting his thought, because it summarizes really what is the situation and what the, the, the real uh, history of uh, Catalonia and now the, uh, the, uh, the history they try to uh, rewrite. So, uh, after that, what is the, the present situation? What is the legal framework? What the Catalonia is, uh, uh, if any of you, uh, you can go out there, you will find it. Well, uh, you will see, you will see that uh, Catalonia, the autonomy of Catalonia, the region, the region uh, is, has more freedom even than the, 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 uh, the, the state of Bavaria in, in Germany. They have its own uh, police, they have uh, mm, their own uh, uh, culture, mm, institutions, they have everything they ask for, media. So there is not any restriction. As uh, it's true in the past, Franco introduced a lot of restrictions, but not only to, to Catalan people, also to the rest of the Spaniards. So it wasn't something against, particularly to uh, uh, Catalan people. Also from people from Madrid, from Andalusia, from Galicia, we all of us we suffered the same situation. So it, it wasn't a discriminatory uh, uh, measure. So but they play the role of victimization, and this is not fair. And that's why it's very interesting. If you can give a look when you will leave this uh, auditorium, and you can check different sources to see that if what I'm telling you it's the truth or not. So can you see what uh, is uh, the situation, the present situation, and what is the, the regulation under the Constitution? The Constitution is the most important law in any country. All of us, we, be, we belong to democratic uh, countries and ruled by the Constitution, and we must respect uh, this Constitution. And can you see the first point is, I said that uh, Catalonia was uh, uh, the, the, uh, the Constitution was approved in 1978. was approved by 92%. It's a, a, a huge number of people who approved it. And they try to violate it right now. So it's necessary to be consistent. And that's why, uh, uh, well, there in uh, all democratic countries, there are different uh, uh, regulations that everyone must respect, but they also have their own Catalan Statute of Autonomy. That means its own constitution as well. Huh? So here is a summary of the situation. Because in fact, uh, 
uh, Spain is a federal monarchy. It's, uh, the situation in Spain is uh, um, what well, is like uh, it's a republic with a king. It's a federal republic with king. That's uh, as simple as, as that. So uh, when when we give a look to the history that how they uh, got the different uh, 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 statute from uh, the beginning, because well, uh, in at the beginning of the 20th century, well, there was a project, but it wasn't approved because the prime minister Romanones is that why. I, I wrote there, Romanones was the, the name of the prime minister at that time, refused to, to provide uh, this statute. But later, during the, the Republic, the Second Republic, well, in 1932, they got it, they got a, a, a statute. And uh, well, during the time of the civil war, in the dictatorship, well, the situation was like in the rest of Spain. But finally, when they uh, recovered the, the statute of autonomy, and of course, it's true that they really to improve it. And the, uh, the, the government, the present government, the um, Partido Popular, the, uh, the, the, the right wing uh, um, uh, party in, in office right now, decided to appeal to the constitutional uh, 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 power court, court and finally uh, well they refused in my opinion it was a mistake eh? because it was necessary well, not everything was refused only some part of that particular uh, uh, project but uh, it's necessary to uh, still negotiate eh? it's just, uh, to to negotiate and to go deep inside. So, what are finally the arguments of uh, 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 nationalism for independence? Mm? Well, it, it's uh, okay. Now, so that uh, Catalonia has suffered a huge oppression. I just told you, like the rest of Spaniards. Well, it's true that when the first Bourbon Philip in the fifth. Now we have the Philip the sixth. Don't be confused. Mm -hmm. So this, as in this our present king is still very young to to take some very important decisions concerning uh, this situation. But in the early uh, 18th uh, uh, century, mm -hmm. uh, the Bourbons apply the same policy like Bourbons in France a centralization, a centralized government. And that's it, it's not, it's, it wasn't nothing against Catalonia. During the Franco uh, regime, well, I already told you, so it's true that uh, Catalonia financed the rest of Spain, the Spanish region, but also Madrid, because Madrid and Catalonia both are the most richest part of Catalonia, that's why they they provide more money to the rest of, of the country. Mm? And finally, even uh, uh, if, uh, if we check, if we check the, the, what, what we call the fiscal balance, that means what is the difference between what is uh, uh, coming and what they expect and, and they have to provide for the rest of the country. What is the, 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 the balance, the, the fiscal balance? Well, in uh, the, the average is six billion, around almost seven billion. But the same like Madrid, even is is uh, uh, the balance of Madrid to, is higher. But uh, for instance, in 2009, there was a surplus for uh, Catalonia. Well, it, it, it never happens for, uh, for uh, Madrid. What are the consequences of secessionism? The, this kind of these movements. Hmm? Well. Uh, right now, after the elections of uh, December 21st, last year, uh, um, well, the party, the political party who won the election was not the independentists, working independentists, was 
a, a central uh, right party whose name is Ciudadanos. But if they put together uh, parties, independentist parties, with populists at the same time, altogether, they, they can, they can mm, mm, become mm, a, a, a slightly a majority, but very, uh, it, it's very slightly, it's, it's very difficult, it's, the country is almost 50-50 uh, divided, completely mm -hmm. divided, not only uh, social, politically, but also, also social divided between uh, and the, the two who part, uh, those who pretend to become independent and those who uh, want to be, they are the Catalonian, but at the same time they, they, really, they really want to uh, become Spaniards. They want to be uh, a part of, uh, of Spain. So uh, here you can see some of the consequences of uh, for, for instance, uh, the, uh, cata the, natural cata uh, the natural market for uh, Catalan export is the rest of, of Spain. It's not, the re it's not the rest of Europe. It's the rest of Spain. And the, 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 it's around 75% of the export from Catalonia goes to the other regions in Spain. Mm? So, can you imagine the impact of this? It will be a decrease of the GDP, not only for Catalonia, but also for, for Spain. And they still have a burden debt. Right now I can tell you that Catalonia is in bankruptcy. Only the, the central government of Spain can supply money to the government of Catalonia. They spent a lot, they waste a lot of money in opening all the embassies from in, in Vienna. They open even, even in an embassy here, but they provide embassies in all these institutions for their friends, for their families. This uh, nepotism and corruption is spread, not only in Catalonia, also in the rest of Spain, but now we are talking about the Catalonian uh, situation. So, uh, the uh, independentism will affect the economy, the social situation, and also uh, it will affect the European market. Don't forget that Spain is the fourth most important car maker in Europe. So there are a lot of uh, uh, links with Germany, with Slovakia as well. So any decision taken in Germany or in Slovakia depends upon the situation also in Catalonia. And later on I will show you some comments of, from the German organi uh, uh, organization of entrepreneurs in Spain. So this, we can see what are uh, the, 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 the consequences of uh, if, if Catalonia uh, become independent. And, uh, well, uh, what the Spanish government, uh, uh, how the central government react, uh, and how the Catalonian government uh, is acting up to now. Mm? So this is what I already uh, told you a few minutes ago. And what is not uh, acceptable is to manipulate information, not only history, but also information. They control media. They is a, 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 a region with uh, uh, 7 million people. Mm? Is, uh, uh, they have seven uh, TV stations in Catalonia. They, their employees collect almost twice 
the money collect other professionals in the rest of Spain, but also policemen in Catalonia, and also some officials. So this, uh, the situation became absurd, completely absurd. And uh, well, they don't allow the rest of the Catalonian to use the Spanish language. If you go, if you are Catalonian, Cat Catalan citizen, but you are Spanish-speaking Catalan people, you cannot use, if you have a business, you cannot write in Spanish the name of your business. You have to write only Catalan. Hmm? If not, you can collect a fine from the local government. Hmm? So it's really a, a situation that it, it, it is very shocking to the common sense. Hmm? And, and well, the government decided to apply the 155, the Article 155. Uh, uh, article of the Constitution, which concern the control of the autonomy in case that particular autonomy, that particular region, violate the Constitution, what in fact they did it. Because they, they tried to proclaim the independence without respecting the Constitution. And that's why the uh, government decided to apply it and is still in force. Mm. So what are the worried about the entrepreneurs? But it's very important. They provide employment. They provide uh, a, a, the GDP of the region. This is very important to take account of their uh, um, uh, decision and what they, they think about. Mm. So, well, here mm, I really, I copy. I copy what they uh, say you can find it in the newspaper yeah? and even uh, you can see uh, uh, the president uh, what the comment of the president of the entrepreneurial association yeah? the Catalonian entrepreneurial association and yeah? how they, are, they have their worries about, about it so it's not intelligent to do this and this uh, 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 the, the situation must be changed. Well, and finally, we go directly to what are the, how can affect also to the European Union. I copy what the president of the European uh, Commission, the statement at the University of Luxembourg, just recently, hmm? just recently, uh, 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 did So, can you imagine a European Union with 98 different regions? Because it's a bad example. Catalonia. If Catalonia became independent, it will be a very negative example for the European Union. So, this is what Mr. Juncker is uh, it's saying. So it was just recently, in October 13th, last year. So uh, what this kind of decision, the independence of a region, will affect the internal market. And it will affect mainly what it concerns, this, uh, the single market. The single market is the whole of, of this. I wrote the articles that you can consult in the uh, official journal of the European Union. Yeah. You can uh, see. So this will be affected by the independence of a region like Catalonia. Yeah. And After the referendum, the illegal, in fact, referendum, last October and afterwards the election of December 21st, 
А, вот, вот, вот эта ситуация в Каталоне, а Каталония э, produce 20% of the GDP of Spain is a very rich region. It's very important. And with only a population of, as I told you before, 7, 7 million, it's 16% of the Spanish population. No? And by I, the data, um, by March uh, 9, you can read how many companies left the region, including some important financial institutions. But not only this, no? not only this, Catalonia already missed the opportunity to get the medicine, the European medicine agency that will go to Holland, to Amsterdam in next year. So can you see this, the impact no, of this? And last, like the summary, no, the effect of the independence well, the relocation of European industry based in Catalonia, here alone, as I told you before, all these uh, Germans, Italian, French, and other uh, 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 European uh, enterprises will move away from Catalonia. And Catalonia itself will suffer also this from after independence. So it is not intelligent, it is not as, as smart eh, to, to go on with this, uh, 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 on this way. So, my conclusions. Hmm? Well, I already talked about, but please give a look of all this. I am not a prophet, hmm? I'm an economist, but uh, I do believe that the situation can be solved only with negotiations and mainly with the respect of the legal system, mainly with uh, the constitution. So it is not a, a very easy task for the central government right now that the uh, um, uh, the court has put in jail several members of the uh, political party in office and even the reputa re reputation of the prime minister is at stake. So it's a very difficult time for Spain. But if we, if we add the situation in Italy, we can say that it's also a very difficult time for Europe. So I hope that uh, I provide you some general information with this framework. And uh, well, please do not hesitate uh, to ask uh, me uh, if you have uh, some doubt or some particular interest. Thank you.